Sorry about that. Anyways, hi guys. Um, I am here with another video of the Ganymede. Let's take a look at what I have. Um, here I am on deck three, but that's not what I wanted to show you today. This is actually something I just started. It's already been planned now for quite some time, at least. For many months it's been planned out, and yeah. Almost a year it's been planned out, yeah. Before I forget, here's a transporter. This is not my design, it's just re. It's there's a bunch of blocks replaced with other blocks. It actually came out of Lumi B, but it worked for this era. I got all the skate pods in. <laughs> Sorry, I got the vaccine recently, so I'm a bit groggy still. I accidentally broke this transporter. All right. Here is the main bridge with some additions to it. I think I already showed you guys this. I have no idea. I think I probably did. Yeah, all the import broke everything, so I have to still have to fix that. MC edit and schematics don't mix. I mean schematics and mod blocks don't mix. Yeah, this whole place was fricked up. Alright, let's go down to deck two, which is what I want to show you guys today. So let's start by... Hang on. Alright, here we are on deck two. This is where visitors come and go. <laughs> this is like the diplomacy area where you, where like diplomats come and go and even though it's not a dip diplomatic ship. Just ignore the chats. All right, let's start off in the bit in the guest quarters. This is a main guest quarter. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I'm listening to a 400-page book for class on an audio. And I've been listening to it for like six hours today. It sucked. Okay, here's a bedroom. Sorry, this is an office area. This is a, a bedroom. This is a head. I still need to put the, the, the toilet and stuff in here. A head for, and Trek talk is just a bathroom. Or like naval talk, I don't know, yeah. Like a naval thing, this is the living area. And there's like quite a few of these. One, two, three, four, five. So Ted? <sighs> Ten in total. <sighs> All right, this is the main gangway. I still need to do this part. This just goes up into here. I'll get to that soon. <coughs> Alright. Another gangway. 
here we have this is where like butlers and those kind of people go like those the staff that only serve the guests and need to be on standby 24 7 like catering that those kinds of people it's hard to explain well, there's gonna be beds in here when I get this built out All right, here's an escape pod gangway. Here's an escape pod. This is a repurposed Let Me Be shuttlecraft. Not shuttlecraft, escape pod. There's Queen. That I, because it's the same era, I use the same escape pods, you know. Here's some diagnostic and just general library computer terminal. Most of this, these systems are from the Lumi B. Here's a um, escape transporter with a CMB console I threw on there because CMB is 100% necessary in some cases. <laughs> like if you don't know what CMB is, it's just a little tiny box. I could even go one smaller than this, so it's like wink, 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 wink. Yeah, I might go small, one sm slightly smaller than that. Here's the pattern buffer systems and the transceiver for the transporter. These are my custom textured TOS box that you see on the TOS. That way. There's another seating area over here. <laughs> Okay, this goes around the transporter buffers are right here. Yeah, this is the back side of that room. I need to put a console or something over here. Here is a... Queen says this should be a pattern buffer, but I don't know yet. Okay, this is fun. This is an umbilical system. If I go up top here, this is where if you connect to a dry dock, the big arm comes down and latches to this thing for like resupplies and stuff. Where am I? So this is like a pump slash filter. All the stuff comes down. And this goes to the trunk line which I'll show you when the need arises here's an alcove, a diagnostics alcove for all the DEX2 turbo lift systems this is behind the aft turbo, not turbo lift, the uh, skate pod systems <laughs> sorry I'm a little congested right now I'm kind of proud of this Jeffrey's tube design. It has a nice modern aesthetic to it. Using our new blocks. These aren't normal blocks. <sighs> These are modded, not to with the mind trick mod, but just new modded blocks we have specifically for the server. Here's some more gangways for the skate pods. That's the wall for the shaft thing. Here are some shield nodes for the top of the ship. I'm gonna fix that. These actually go places. I'll show you that to some point in the video. Here's the main app lounge using our new blocks, our new gray jungle wood retexture, which used to be green. I put black above the door because it looks nicer. 
on the other half side of these. Hang on. We have our sensor suite. Our short range sensor suite. <laughs> Thought there was a console. Yeah, there's a console. You can see that on the outside here. That's the long range sensors right here. That points up. Here's going to be one on the sides, and on the bottom, and on the front, and the back. So when they're all in, it should form a, a bubble of coverage. <laughs> all right. Let's go to, yes, the very front. There's some interesting stuff up there. I'll get to the inner part soon. Here is the area where people give like speeches and stuff. There's going to be tables here. Like, it's a diplomacy room basically. Yeah, pretty much. And this leads to the trunk line. That came from the V screen. I'm going to be fixing that soon. This goes all the way down, as you can see. It's a long way down, all the way down to like deck 25, I think. Let me see. 26. All right, here is one of the, the lounges for guests. A nice roomy space. There's another one on the other side. <laughs> Just fix that, yep. Sometimes mirrors aren't perfect. I think it's the same on the other side, but it really isn't. This is an airlock if the guest does, has special needs, environmental wise. There's two quarters like that. Here is the main office for reception. This is a reception desk. And then when you get your appointment ready, you go in here to see the, the guy in charge of room assignments. Can you sign in with your guest? Get your coffee or something? Start a plant? You know, what you do. There's his bathroom. He has the turbo lift. Here's the environmental systems for deck two. Once again, these, these conduits are all connected. I should be able to fit right above here. Yeah, all of them are connected, as you can see. This is a really tall deck, so I can actually do it. These are utility lines, the silver ones. These are like airflow, that kind of thing. These are high power, just just power conduits. This is ODN, so that's like computer and data. It all reaches back to the trunk line, like this goes to all the way to the emergency transporter and to their respective what's the word transceivers and the fun part is yeah there's the main transporter right there this will go from the buffers all the way down this line if you need to transport to a planet go all this down this line go down the trunk line and be sent here to this trans this transceiver array. Yeah, it's all gonna be connected. All of it. 
Anyway, here's deck three. I just got this put up here. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the escape pods. I have a speed two. Speed two. There we go. Here's an escape pod. These used to be brown. I'm gonna show you what it used to look like. It just wasn't the right style. Yeah, that's what it used to look like. But with our new jungle wood textures, uh, we made it look pretty cool. For my purposes, at least. This is how we do it on the server. We just have a boneyard just full of random pots and ends to copy and paste in. Like when we're designing corridors, this is what we do. There's a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Try four. Three, two, this is the one we're using. And another one. No, that's not the one we're using. We're using this one. Yeah. It's the very first corridor I designed. For the ship, and I ended up using it. I want to go purple, but I already used that before and wanted a different design aesthetic. What ship is this? That's not my ship. Like this, there's just gonna be another sensor system back here. Once again, connecting to making the bubble, you know. Yeah. Another sensor strip right here that still needs to be detailed out right in front of the arboretum area, which still looks cool from the outside. Just so you guys can reminisce about how good this looks. I'm so proud of it. I still need to refill the ocean. Sorry, I'm dying inside pond. It's a pond. Obviously. It's a pond. I need to go to bed. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. First, I'm gonna annoy Queen by popping in. She is spying on me. got all these windows which are nice and we got some random blocks sometimes random blocks show up it's from the planning process let's change the view range there we go yeah that looks a lot cooler so that's deck one deck two and deck three is these windows and then deck four. As you can see on the map. Deck four is actually pretty, actually about smaller than deck three. Real, real estate wise, because most of this is shuttle bay. But it's a pretty complex. This is, it has a high base for the, what on earth do you call them? with a big sensor array. Here's the astrometrics of rooms and here's the systems for them. Oh, tachyon deep field imaging array. That's what it was, okay. I planned that out.
like a year ago, so I'm totally confused. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the big ring, if you ever wondered. It's just a big, super advanced telescope sort of thing. Oh, I'll, I'll go back out. There we go. I haven't done the right registry yet. I still gotta do that. Oof. Okay. I'm going to end this now. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Laters.